What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to continuously deploy a Gatsby website using AWS Amplify. I'm also going to show you how to preview changes from a pull request. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. On a previous video, we built a website using Gatsby, consuming this data from Contentful. So here in our Gatsby application, we added this plugin configuration where we are using this Gatsby source contentful plugin. And we had to add these two options or these two parameters here, this environment variable, contentful space ID, and the contentful token. Those are the two environment variables that we need in order to consume the contents from the contentful API. So the source code of this application is actually in GitLab here. And this is the branch that I'm going to use in order to deploy this application to AWS Amplify. So this is the branch Gatsby Amplify. So let's go to the Amplify console and let's deploy our application. So I'm going to click here on get started and I'm going to select the repository. In our case, it's a GitLab repo. So I'm going to click here on GitLab and I'm going to click here on continue. I already authorized the integration between AWS Amplify and GitLab. And here I'm going to select the repository. In our case, the repo is Gatsby Contentful. It's actually this URL here. And here I need to select the branch that in our case is Gatsby Amplify. I'm going to click here on next. Okay, so Amplify already detected the build settings of our Gatsby application and generated the script here to build and deploy the website. And here we have npm run build to build the Gatsby website to generate actually the static website using Gatsby. And here we have the base directory that is actually the publication directory for Gatsby. And here we need to go to advanced settings to add the two environment variables that we need in order to consume the contentful API. So I'm going to grab the name from here. First we have contentful space ID. So I'm going to grab that environment variable and I'm going to paste it here. And the other one is contentful token. I'm going to add the values here. Okay, now that I assign the value for the two environment variables, I'm going to click on next and I'm going to click here on save and deploy. And this is going to build and deploy our Gatsby application, consuming the data from contentful. Actually these three values from here. And as we can see here, these are the steps that is going to follow. It's going to provision the hosting, let's say for the application, then it's going to build the application, it's going to deploy the application and it's going to verify that everything works as we expect. And this is the URL that is going to generate so that we can check that is working as we expect. Okay, as we can see here, the deployment is ready. So I'm going to click here on the URL. And as we can see here, we are successfully showing the data that we get from Contentful. So everything works just fine. Now I'm going to show you this feature, this uh, previous feature. So I'm going to enable the feature, actually. I need to select what is the source branch. And I'm going to click here on enable. Okay, so now I'm going to generate a pull request and that pull request will be listed here and we will be able to access the application using that pull request code as the source of the application. Okay, now let's go to Visual Studio Code and let's make a few changes. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the word band here to the label of the genre column and the same for the website column. Okay, and now I'm going to commit and push this change to a new branch. First, let's check status. This is the only file that I changed. So I'm going to add the change, hit add everything. And I'm going to create a new branch, git checkout minus b, and let's call this Gatsby table 
columns. And now let's commit the change, git commit, column labels updated, minus m, there we go, and now let's push this branch. Okay, so I already pushed the branch Gatsby table columns with these two changes. So if we go to GitLab and we go here to merge requests, I'm going to create a new merge request. And I'm going to merge the Gatsby table columns branch into the Gatsby amplify branch. And this is the only change that we have here. This is the only change that we have. So if we go back, and we do click here on submit merge request. And if we go back to the Amplify console and we refresh here, we're gonna see the pull request listed here. And here, as we can see here, we, we can see the status here in progress. And if we go there, it's going to, again, it's going to generate the website using the branch from the pull request as the source for the website. And this is the URL that we will be able to access in order to check the preview of that pull request. And this is basically the code to generate the Docker image for our application. And here we have some screenshots of the application, for example, using Google Pixel. We have a preview for iPad Air 2, the same for iPhone 7, and the same for a couple of other devices. And here, if we go to this URL, we're gonna see the preview with the changes that are actually these two. And if we compare this with the main branch, as we can see here, here we don't have those labels. Okay, and here I'm going to resolve these conflicts so that I can merge the changes into the main branch. And I'm going to click here on commit to source branch there we go, and here I'm going to click on Merge. So now if we go to Amplify and we go to Preview, this pull request is going to disappear. Great, so no open pull request found. So if we go back, now it's going to rebuild the website and we're gonna see all the changes here. We're gonna see these two columns as we can see them here. So I'm going to close this. Okay, now Amplify is going to complete the deployment Okay, the deployment is ready, so I'm going to refresh this. And as we can see here, the change has been applied to our website. So that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.